<laughs> so what's being expressed here is just the profound simplicity of the ordinary, the everyday, the moment to moment, although there are no moments. It's that raw, the unfiltered, the intricate dance of seemingly what's happening, that visceral surge of emotions, um, the unfolding in simplicity, unadorned authenticity. It's this so-called life. It's unfurling in an altered, unapologetic glory. What is as it is, this is undeniable and unapologetic. unapologetic. It's just this. The seeming unbearable weight of seeking what is already is tragic because what is being expressed is what is not hidden. And it cannot re be relieved by seeking because what is seeking is already what is. Like listening to the, the beach, <laughs> listening to the sand, this, the, 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 the waves crashing to the sand. The dog barking with pure abandon. The traffic, the rhythm of what is. It's that and it's nothing more really. It's just so pure and simple. And yet there's this allure of the seductive awakening or dropping away that promise of enlightenment or what's next. of what's next when there's no next. Again, the simplicity of the wind blowing, the gazing into something unknown, the talking of sweet nothings. Just this, this unadorned simplicity. This unadorned simplicity is what is already. It's not some big, revelation of angels trumpeting or the whole world lighting up into pure bliss. It's not about an energetic shift that's only reserved for the fortunate and dedicated listeners. There's no falling away of the me or the I am because it just really gets hinged on that unfortunate waiting, that endless waiting for something that is already what is. It's not caused by a marathon of listening to this communication that is being expressed that there's no communication. It's not the consumption of many spiritual or non-duality ideas of what is and what is not. It's not the fables. It's not the stories. It's none of those that seems to liberate what is being sought for that seems to Take off the weight of the heaviness of seeking of something that is, is already is. It's not a magic word that will be uttered that will unlock something that is being longed for. It's not something that's elusive, that's avoiding you because there's no you to unite to. It's not a union of something that is already unseparated. So all musings about future transformation are just ideas that comes and goes. The convictions <laughs> and the constructs surrounding the apparent falling away, awakening, whatever non-duality, any of those, they're all surface and recede as just ideas. So what's being talked about is not about a belief or a non-belief. So there's already this innate alreadiness. This is already. So what does it matter if someone's a me or a no me when inherently it already is that cannot be captured as an idea, as a thought, as a word, as an experience, as a concept? There's no you that's in slumber that's ready to awake. There's no you that's just waiting to go to that edge of the cliff, hoping that it will be pushed and fall away. <laughs> There's this vitality that already is, that's not separate for what is. 
there's this aliveness, even in that seeming weight, that that heaviness, that tightness of waiting for something to happen next. There's only this. There's only this. Even this is just another idea. So what does it matter if you fall away or not fall away? What does it matter? So what? Who cares? Who cares if there's even an awakening or a falling away that exists at all? Because it's already this. What's to awaken to? What is there to fall away from? From this apparent appearance? The avoidance of something that is already profoundly simple? The, uh, the negation of something that's authentically what it is already? What is already is this wowness that cannot be denied. And that wow does not mean to have, have to be a positive or an experience that is preferred by you. Since there's no one that is awakened, there's no one that's enlightened, no one exists to think, to breathe, to hear, to smell, anything. Everything is merely unfolding as it is. But there's no one orchestrating it. There's no one controlling any of this. This does not have any source. And this wondrous, profound simplicity of the ordinary is so light. It's open. Because there's nothing to be figured out or no one trying to figure out anything of what is already so simply, deliciously this already. And that weight and that that pregnant pause of something to happen can be burst into just this wondrous simplicity of the air, the smells, the fragrance, the laughter, even the fear of losing something that never was, the grief of losing everything that was previously believed because it gets stripped away. This is a stripping away of any ideas. This is a stripping away of anything that is so heavy that, that it, it, it causes someone to book a one-on-one -on -one and cry and cry and cry and say that I don't want this anymore. It's got, there's got to be something better than this. Who do I believe? Is it awareness? Is it nothing? Is it everything? Is it what is it? It's not in the words. It's not in someone else's idea, not even in someone else's conviction, not even in someone's undeniability that this is it already, because none of that matters. Nothing matters at all. What is being expressed is that it can't even be expressed because it's always what it is no matter what. What seems to be hidden appears in everything. No one sees this. No one hears this. No one gets this. And that's not a gatekeeping or anything. That's how simple it is. That's how simple it is. That since no one has attained this, it's not about attainment of something that already is. This is, this is just an appearance without a center, without a source without anything at all. So in this inherent wakefulness, although no one was asleep, there's an unbounding of the necessity of a future event to happen. There is a release of that heavy burden that's being carried of when I get this. Or that heaviness of holding on to something from the past that no longer exists. This vitality is in this very existence not you, that this existence. There's just this indivisibility of what is already happening that in the absence of trying to figure it out, in the absence of idea, it already is. Again, there's only this, but not the this that you can think about, the this that does not need thinking of. This and this and this and this infinitely.
It has nothing to do about figuring out what this is. It's not about thinking that you got this or you did not get this or what's being expressed here cannot really be understood. It has nothing to do with you. So that unbearable weight of seeking is propelled by the idea that there's you in this apparent next that will collect this alluring carrots dangled. <laughs> oh, sorry. By the idea that there's you that will get it. That perpetually unfolding idea in the spectrum of this. So each belief is just a projection of ment mental projection manifesting in this apparent present moment, but there's no present moment. It's just this. It cannot be called present. It cannot be called moment because this is just undeniably obvious that it defies any kind of languaging, any kind of idea, or in any kind of trying to hold on to this. This cannot be held on to but this is so free and so obvious and so already this that any seeming holding on to any beliefs, any ideas, any concept simply shatters all of that because it does not need any weight. So this weightlessness of not giving any Fs <laughs> because it already is whatever seems to be what is. It does not rely on any energetic shift. It does not rely on any falling away. It does not realize, it, it does not rely on being aware because it's already directly, simply this already. If you have any questions, let's talk about that. Um, but thank you. Cheers. Oh, a question here. Sorry, I have to open up the question thing here. Sorry about that. Why do many teachers say that this, in capital letters, is vast and infinite? Does this really stretch out infinity like a field that stretches out all direction? So there is, a, there is an attempt always with speakers and teachers and try to express something that cannot be expressed. There's always an attempt to describe to describe something that cannot be described and it's beautiful you know it can also be said that it, it's infinite it's vast but infinite cannot be thought about there is a construct that that anything that is said is constructed idea of what this is it's not a field it's not it, it doesn't have any directions it's all of it so what this is is the burping of a child the laughter of a hyena the walking of a dog, the scratching of that neck, the tasting of that sweet dessert, the spitting out something that's bitter. That's also this. It's not, it's not this idea of something infinite and vast, which is also this, by the way, but it's not limited to any kind of um, construct. The moment that someone says something, it's constructed because they're made of words and thoughts. So even this speaker is constructing what this is and also expressing that it cannot be expressed. So it's not limited. <laughs> yeah, not limited by infinity. <laughs> As a construct anyway, that's a good way to say it. Yeah. <laughs> It's really stripped down, right? If if everything is 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 stripped and um, not adorned with so much ideas, it's 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 the the absence of ideas. But even that is an idea, you see. So there's no way out of it in trying to describe something that exists in everything, because it does not. It's it's not true or false. It's whatever it is. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you for doing these meetings. I really like your video on words. I have it on repeat. Can you say that the person is a thought? Yeah. <laughs> so the whole person who basically has this idea of his own life, uh, the, the person that basically claims that gets it or don't get it, it's just another thought. It's just a thought behind a thought. Even, you know, when a thought, when even someone says that I see, the thought I see cannot visualize. It's just a thought, isn't it? <laughs> the thought, you know, say, I hear this, cannot really hear a thing because it's just a thought. <laughs> so the idea of an individual or a person is just a thought. There's going to be some felt sense of reality. The moment that it's coupled with a thought, you know, saying that it's a false sense of reality or a real sense of reality, then that's just a thought because there's no true and there's no false outside of a thought. It's not about rejecting, you know what I'm saying, the person. Because when the, the it's not about rejection, it's not about acceptance. It's just this aliveness, it's just this openness, this wowness that cannot really be called anything. It cannot be thought of. That's unthinkable, but seemingly appears in every thought. The donut, yes. <laughs> I like that. Is it acceptance of everything being of in consequence or insignificant? But but who's accepting? See, that's the thing, right? It's neither acceptance, it's neither rejection, it's just what is. So even the rejection is also it. Even the acceptance is also it. It's not one thing or another. It's just what is. And talks like this will be full of contradictions because it's expressing something that seemingly wants to express that what's being spoken about is it. On the opposite end, the person that the apparent person is listening to it tries to get what this is. But what's being expressed is not about getting it or not about rejecting it. It's not, aha, I got this. Because who got that? Or even, even the opposite, I don't get this. Who doesn't get it? When the me falls away, um, does the sense of a me behind the eyes also disappear? Um, there's really no me that falls away. There is no witness, really. The idea, the thoughts of a me, you know, the, uh, the whole conceptual construct of a me, um, the construct of uh, the observer, awareness and everything vanishes. So it's seen that thoughts, even though they're an appearance and everything is just there and it vanishes. It's not something solid anymore. So when there was this character that was a heavy seeker, there's this idea that there was a solid Emerson. There was the solidity. There was a re reality called Emerson. And Emerson's reality, there was a seeker. There was spirituality. There was good and bad. There was you and I. There was something missing. But when it's seen, although no one sees it or witnesses it, when it glitches, so to speak, that there is really no Emerson, meaning that there's no source. And the source of Emerson, which is also another you know, construct, because since Emerson is a construct, also falls apart. So there was this seeming multi-layered character that seemingly had Emerson as a character that's trying to improve the self. And then there was this Emerson that was seemingly came from a source and hoping to unite with the source. So when all of that is null and void, meaning that when the rug is, is you know, um, taken off your feet and you completely fall apart, there's no way of getting up from that. There's no more rug. So it's a free fall because there's no more source of any knowledge, any knowing, any kind of interpretation by other people. So there's seeming to be a grasping of what happened because it never really happened. 
meaning that the holder of the happening or the experiencer, Emerson, the reality is completely unknown. There's no more reality. There's no more illusion. It's just what is. And it can't even be really expressed in words. So, yeah. So there's really no one behind the eyes because that's just a thought. There's no one really behind anything because that's just a concept. And whatever seems to be tight that held on together like that weight is, is shattered. And even if you try to pick up the pieces of he, who you are, there's just, it's just, it's just, it, it's temporal. You might say that I'm this, but it, it vanishes completely. All the questions, there's a, the illusion of the person that falls away. And what is left is what is. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's, I, I can even call it, you know, like when, when the person vanishes, what's left is just this unknown freedom this unconditional love or whatever word that might come for this character was just freedom. There's no more boundaries. There's no more structures. There's no more belief system. All of the, all of the teachers and the speakers fell off the pedestal already. So it's almost like a, an annihilation or an Armageddon of a belief system. So everything is dead, so to speak. And, but there's this aliveness because everything that seemingly held and you know held this character in bondage was dead. All the questions seem to disappear, but the questions aren't wrong or right. Seemingly anything can be talked about, even the, the no one is saying it. Yes, thank you, Josie. Oh, Joe. Is it Joe? Joe is anarchy. Beautiful. Yeah. Even without a thought, there is this feeling behind the eyes that doesn't even serve as a real function. Yes, there's always going to be these sensations, right? You know, in this apparent appearance of this, of thisness, it's going to appear as sensations. As what, but the moment that there is a thought, the moment that the me steps in, the apparent me, of course, and claims that and says that I am witnessing this, how can you deny that? Then that's just a thought. It's just an idea. You know, it's 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 a grasping of something that cannot be grasped. There are sensations that appear. You know, what I'm saying it's beautiful, but the moment that it is, it becomes a narrative as a story or my my sensations. The my sensation becomes my contraction, my openness, my love, my fear, whatever. Then it becomes this segregated experience of someone that thinks that it is having a separate experience from what is. Lacey goes, like a constant experience or explorer completely open to the present. Yes. There's just this, it's raw, it's open, it's it's unsecured, it's it's free, free for anything. Because it does not have this seeming kind of like filtering of what should be my preferred experience or not. So everything is just allowed, but there's no one allowing it. Even rejection is allowed. That's how open it is. It's not, it's not left or right anymore. It's not, it's not my experience or not my preferences anymore. Even my preferences is allowed. Thank you, Lacey. Cecilia goes, in the video, you said the dream is thoughts and sensations. Yes, it is. If you look at the definition of a dream, it's a series of thoughts and sensations that feels like real, just like this, just like this appearance of us, you know, talking here seemingly about what cannot be talked about, talking in dreamlish language, trying to come up with a whole bunch of words that are completely meaningless to express what is already obvious that cannot be expressed in words, the, the, um, the directness of what is that does not need a second hand or a salesperson trying to sell words and ideas. It's wholesale. It's it's direct. <laughs> so, like a dream, for example, right? You know, the dream is so direct and everything. In that nighttime dream, you know, it feels absolutely real sometimes. Um, that um, my um, my little my little nephew had a nap. 
And then he woke up and basically said, I dreamt that one of the pet was missing. So he was looking for the pet. Because for his experience, that really happened. I'm like, oh, no, no, your doggy is still here. Because I should not take a nap. <laughs> so that directness, right? That directness and that sensations. Um, even even when when you know I used the dream that I would be running and being chased and everything, I would wake up and right away, you know, grab a glass of water because I felt that I was really running. The, this character seems to have been able to use words to make lyrics because there is no one trying to make sense of the words. The freedom is there to be able to create more. Yes, it's actually beautiful. I used to play the piano. I still play the piano, but when I was a little kid, my dad used to wake me up um, at three o'clock in the morning when he used to, he used to work for the Senate and he would bring senators over and I would play piano and they would be singing, you know, Frank Sinatra songs and everything. So there was a performance, you know, in it. But now it's funny because I play at three o'clock in the morning now with no audience. And it's so liberating just to play. And it's the same with, with languaging and words. I really enjoy this, this speaking about this because I'm not bounded by words. And the words that come out are just, it's just all of the words are meaningless anyways, right? So um, there seems to be a weight sometimes to it. But what if the words are just used as an art, you know, like a brush, a paint, and just trying to paint something that is already obvious? So what that, those are the, what the words are trying to say. It's like painting with water and hoping that you see that what's being painted is transparently clear already. And it does not need words or painting or brush strokes. It's spontaneous already. That's right. It's beautiful. <laughs> can you say that the person is just like a huge bundle of ideas and thoughts yes so there's this there's this idea there's this thought that there is someone seeking what is already so what is seeking is also this so this is talking to this. It's just all this. And even not this is this. It's all this. There's nothing that's, that's outside of this. There's nothing that's excluded. Everything is allowed. Like anarchy. In waking state, we used eyesight, but in a dream, we, we see images without eyesight. What's the difference? Um, not much, really. Not much, really, because, again, kind of like what I said, the thought that I see is not really seeing. Are you really seeing this? Is this really being seen? <laughs> Kathy. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> yeah, Hello. I'm laughing. Yeah, hi. Hello. I'm laughing, yeah, because uh, is it really being seen? But anyway, um, you know, I'm always seeking. It's just my nature. I guess I've spent, you know, at my age so many years. Anyway, uh, I wanted to go over uh, the AI with you and Dr. Leela. I wanted to, I, and I didn't have time. So uh, I mean, it was really interesting, especially for somebody who has no freaking clue what zeros and ones are. But anyway, I just wanted to ask you this. <laughs> this somebody wrote in the comment section, because you know me, I love comments. That's how I live my life, with comments. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I don't do any social media, so I, I can act out in comments, but I do very nice comments. I, got I haven't read the comments year. yet, so please go ahead. Sorry, I, I, I haven't read it. Yet. I got I got caught last year with a bad comment. Anyway, 
or two. Anyway, because for years, I didn't know you could erase your comments. <laughs> I just found that out like a couple of months ago. So when I'd make a bad comment, I would just call the person or send them an email and say, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, so this is what he wrote or she wrote. I don't know. So the zero and one is the deep sleep, night dreams, and the daytime, and the daytime. But the, bet the between would be Brahman. That's cool. The one says zero basically is the illusion of something that cannot be separated, right? So it's just, it's just basically... Um, um, we just had fun with it. You know, um, the AI right now is just a very, very interesting conversation. And if you look at any computer, any kind of like programming, it's really made up of ones and zeros. So if we uh, if we look at a programming of Zoom, for example, it's a whole bunch of ones and zeros, ones and zeros. And um, I don't really like using the word Brahman because I used to do that a lot when I was in spiritual uh, spirituality. And that's cool, though. You know what I'm saying? It's just what is. Yeah. Um, so it's it's basically seeing the whole thing as just what is. Everything is inherently yeah. what is already. And there's yeah. Dr. Leela to maybe answer to respond to that. <laughs> well, I, I want to ask you one more thing though. Sure, go ahead. What pe what that quote, now you said you've heard it before, similar, but there's almost like um I remember from the you know the previous time, whatever. There was always that uh, people talked about that special place, you know, right in between there, between okay, yeah. zero and the one or somewhere. You know what I'm saying? You can also say the yeah. silence in between in, in the words that appear. It's never in, in between. between. It's in everything. So it's in the zeros. It's also in the ones. Right. Because there's really no in between. Um, but you can also say it's in between. It doesn't matter. It's It's in everything. It's in between, it's in the ones, it's in the zeros, in the illusion, in the reality, it's in everything. But maybe Dr. Leela has something to say about that. It, it almost seems more sacred in, you know, and there's no such thing as sacred, but, you know, in, in my head, you know, that, you know, between the zero and the one, whatever. Hi, Dr. Leela, let's hear what she has to say. <laughs> <laughs> we have a part two actually well, coming. It, yeah, oh, when's good. the part two that coming? So because... Yay. It kind of addresses what's between the zero and the one, because I was contemplating that for a while after our <laughs> Yeah. And um, it has to do with the sight thing, actually. Um, if, if, you, if you have a point of view, any point of view, either it's behind the eyes or it may be up looking down at the body or it could be right field, left field, as long as you have a point of view, you're seeing through that point of view. So it's a center, it's a first person, what they call first person. And the first person doesn't have to be behind the eyes, for most of us it is, but if you practice you know, out of body or lucid dreaming or you had an NDE, that point of view moves. But what we were talking about, what, what is between the zeros and ones is actually um, a different thing. It's a pointless point of view. It's how we see without a point of view. So some people wow. think it's 360 cool. or centerless, but it oh, really geez. is, it is the true nature of seeing, which isn't any point of view at all. And that means that the entire um, world of form collapses Whoa. and it's vertical as opposed to horizontal. Wow. And that's what we're talking about in the second one. So I've been looking at this for a long time. I really think it's fascinating this thing. There was this Dr. Lieberman who was an ophthalmologist and he was meditating one day and he had wear his Coke bottle glasses. And one day he's meditating, all of a sudden he had centerless vision and his eyesight was perfect 2020 with that centerless vision. But then he went to his office right after meditating and he checked his eyes and they were still as bad as they always were. Wow. But he wow. was seeing not he was seeing with his dream from the point with his his centerless eyes and which is why blind people dream with vision and and deaf people do hear uh because i, the I didn't know blind people dreamt yeah, with blind vision. People dream. oh yeah yeah wow yeah i guess yeah helen keller and, feeling um, the feeling. 
Yeah, they wow. don't just dream in colors and they dream in like actual images. Colors too. Yeah. Oh, just images, so, black and white or color? I don't know. Well, you don't Some know. of them are know. different, but it's um this idea that we see through our eyes and hear through our ears is just an is just a belief. Yeah, wow, that's so cool. And that is so cool. So what happens to people that are deaf? They they hear sounds in their dreams or in, in their dreams or when they're not yeah connected to believing that their ears are deaf. Wow. So when they loosen the confines of the belief in what their senses are telling them, yeah. then, then they're free. It's amazing. Just amazing. Do you think that Emerson, we, we didn't talk about that, but the thing of seeing without wow. eyes is pretty fascinating. Well, that actually, there'll be, be a, part, great. a part three, you know. Part three. <laughs> there'll be a part are, three. Are you... <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah. That sounds great. But in I'd the love part to two, we're talking about the, I was the talking vertical. about, that's how I, actually what's between the zeros and ones isn't, isn't, isn't silence or emptiness or any of that. It's not a uh, no form or emptiness is form or all that. And that thing about Brahman, there's this guy out there, someone wrote me because they heard me talking about this. And they said, Rodney Smith is a Buddhist guy. And he talks about zeros. He talks about horizontal and vertical, not zeros and ones. And what he's talking about is Brahman in the center, but Brahman is the world of form, the way I understand it in Sanskrit. So, so really it's your face. It's like a Zen koan. What's between zeros and ones is your face before you were born. It's unknown. It's the unknown. Yeah. It's the mu, M U. It's the unknown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we keep looking for. I can't wait to hear it's part two about mind the vertical. It though. can't be conceived of. Yeah. There's actually a prequel to that, right? We had one before that we did not release. Yeah, we yes. did actually. We did. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. That was fascinating too. Actually, the whole thing evolved. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it was great. I real. I'm looking forward to part two and part three. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. Thank you. Questions here. Oh, that's a lot of questions. Sorry. <laughs> Then the story and narrative comes from the thoughts and sensations, dream, all that being an illusion. Yeah. And that's what's so, um, so when there is, again, you know, this is just a narrative. This is just a story. When there is a seeing through the illusion, so to speak, that there's no illusion and there's no reality, that whole dualistic um, collapses idea, collapse that, that there is a witness and being witnessed. And it cannot really be expressed, right? Because it's kind of like saying that there's really no subject and object. There's no one really seeing and being seen because that that seeming um, um, barriers collapses. And it cannot really be even called barriers because it is also what is. So the, the whole construct of this and that seemingly just kind of like the ones and zeros are just what is, it's just what is, and there's nothing really that is um, illusory or reality. So there's no opposites really. Same as death really, if you had a near death experience, you may have seen the body seemingly from outside the body. So where is the seeing happening? No one knows, yeah, that's what it is, right? Because the moment that you see, you think, I see the thought cannot see. It's just really a thought. If you see, I hear, there's no one hearing from that thought. It's just a thought. So the construct of a centralized figure that's seeing or hearing, meaning you, is a construct. And it comes up with words that will say that I see you. But the thought cannot see because it's a thought. <laughs> why do I want to die and give up but I'm so scared of dying I want both at the same the same time but live in fear of both constantly seemingly what happens is there's this there's this death and there's this aliveness both are constructs 
So maybe what seems to be yearned for is this already, this constructed reality. Because death is a construct. Life is a construct. Everything is a construct of the central figure that comes out with these thoughts that I want or you know um, I need, all that kind of stuff is a construct. But in the directness of what's being expressed here, when the words just are popping up like you know emotion bubbles from a cartoon in this seeming reality, in this AI appearance of what seems to be you know called life. So when all of the wants and all that giving up or all the fear is already facing you, although there's no you, it's already in front of you. Meaning that there's nothing hidden. There's nothing that's being, you know, there's no future that's being dangled that will be better or not better. This is it already. And when, when that's being expressed, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's, Accepted, meaning that it is believed or not believed. But the one that's believing or not believing is a construct. It's artificial. <laughs> so this is what's being longed for already, but this is also what's feared at simultaneously. You're looking at it. <laughs> Although there's no you looking at it. <laughs> Um, death is unknown, so to die would be the end of you, which is which is this without the questions from the apparent individual. Yes, this is already the unknown. You can say that this is already death. But the seeming constructed idea of what it is avoids that as something to be feared of or rejects, rejects it or, or denies it. But when death is already looking at you, and um, and but there's this obliviousness to what it is, there seems to be a construct of rather longing for it or rejecting it or in denial of it. So what is being expressed here neither cannot be denied, rejected, or accepted because it already is. <laughs> I love eyes because sight is just an interpretation of light waves that simulate part of your brain. Yeah, I like that too. Beautiful. Um, the seeing is in the scene. It's not too. Yes. Thank you so much. That is what it is, right? It's, and the words will say that. Well, I see this, but if you sit, if you take away I, and they replace it with this sees this, this is seeing this, this is already seen. <laughs> I'm not gonna read read it immorally, but yes, lol. <laughs> Because nothing is hidden, only for the person. Yes, nothing is hidden, and that's what it is. There's this kind of like what my title, right? I was talking to someone earlier, and um, you know, crying, snots, flying, and everything, just really, really kind of like distraught, saying that I'm so heavy seeking. It's so the the weight of seeking is too much. I'm like, what are you looking for? It's already, it's in everything. It's in the seeing, it's in the seen. So what is being looked for is already staring back at you. It's everything that you see is what seems to be hidden. It's in everything. And the eruption of laughter, you know, after maybe, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes of saying that, it's already this. Um, because nothing is hidden. And the person that's looking for it is also obviously transparently not there. The faceless one, yes. This character has had an NDE. There was a seeming cut in the senses, completely dark, but there was still seeing. When Joe came back, he was seemingly told that he had died and was in disbelief. Isn't it fascinating? Do you want to share that, Joe? If you want to. Hello? Hello, Joe. Hi there. Hello. Yeah, so, hi there. Hi there. Hi, Joe. Thank you. <laughs> um, oh, I like Joey's anarchy. Nice. Hold on. Can you hear me? Can you hear? I can hear you, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Well, I can't hear you. Uh, 
Um, how do you make it so that you can hear the, the Zoom? Oh, okay. You're, you're, you can, I can hear you right now. Um, yeah, go ahead and speak. You have to speak uh, higher. All right, I'll show you, I'll show you the experience. Um, it was a couple months ago. Uh, Maybe higher, Joe. People are yeah, saying, can you speak louder? She said a yeah. couple months ago. Yeah, maybe get their microphone yeah. closer to you, What, whatever that is, yeah. Can you hear, can you hear me? No? Someone is saying yes? <laughs> Where's your microphone? Are you on a headset? Or on a phone? Is that better? Yeah. Can you guys hear it? Is that better? Okay. Keep on going. Okay, I see. You're connected to new audio. All right. All right. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Let's move on to someone else. Oh, the, I, it's hard to hear still. Um, maybe. Lot... <laughs> I'll mute you and unmute yourself back. Maybe that will reset it or something. I'll just invite you next time, Joe. We could talk about it next time. I, I don't think that the uh, is we can't hear it, but uh, it will be a great conversation. Just chat chat with me later. S uh, Casey goes. I love watching your video parts, Leela. Me too. Seeing this meeting is what is as well as watching meetings on YouTube. It's always the case. Yes. So are there even seeing or is that just a word or a concept? Yeah, that's quite fascinating, right? Because the moment that you say the moment, okay, let's just use even that, that, that <laughs> uh, when you say that I, I am seeing this or the thought that I see cannot see anything. The thought that I'm watching this is not watching anything. It's just a thought. <laughs> the thought that I am tasting this is not tasting this. The thought that I am hearing this is not hearing this. So what the apparent character is just a play of appearances, basically a, 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 a series of thoughts, a bunch of stories about an imagined past that seems to appear as this happening. It's not rejecting any of the stories, right? But it's just what is. It's just a thought. Hey, Gunver. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. You? Excellent. Okay. No, I just want to say also this is not even seeing this. Yeah. I mean, I understand this that I'm not seeing. Yeah. But even this is not seeing. Even when this is not this seeing, is yeah. Seeing, because I mean, seeing is seeing is just another uh, apparent kind of like separate separateness, right? Because if there's a seeing, then there's a scene, then that creates a two. Like even even with like, you know, let's just go even scientifically, right? There are really no colors. Yeah, but there aren't really any words either. There are no exactly. There's no words too. So this whole appearance, right? This whole construct is an artificial appearance. Yeah. It's it's a, it's an illusion. Yeah. But since you know Gunver Emerson is in the illusion, meaning that it's it cannot see outside of the illusion. So it will still see colors. It will still see um, based on words and everything. Yeah. So we yeah. can sit and talk about the illusion. That's right. Yeah. It's a delusion. Yeah. Yeah, and we can sit and talk about it forever. 
forever, forever. That's why it's so, so fascinating because there's no way out of it. It's a good scammer. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Because it could just it's, keep entertaining itself forever. Forever, yeah. At least there's an admission that it's a hoax. What's being talked about yeah, is a complete a hoax, hoax, right? Yeah, and yeah. and but the hoax becomes kind of like really kind of like you know when when someone said that there's a reality, you know what I'm saying? There mm -hmm. is a there is an out of this. Yeah. There is a falling away, or there is an awareness, or something, yeah. and then people get caught up in that hoax, right? And hoping for something next to happen, but the hoax is that there is no next. It's already this. Next is just another thought, which is just another hoax. Yeah, the whole seeking yeah. is just a construct. It's, it's a whole something. construct. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The whole construct. The and and if you. You know, you've been listening to a lot of my videos. All my videos are basically the same thing. Yeah. It's over. It's done. What is, yeah. it's, it's already this. And it, it repeats over and over and over again. And it likes, you know, speaking about this, although it cannot get out of this, that there's no way out of this because this is already it. Yeah. And also what yeah. you just said in the introduction, that there's nothing hidden. Yeah. The only thing that's hidden is the character. It's hiding within itself. Exactly. That's it's beautifully right. said, actually. I like that. I'll use it's just, it. <laughs> it's just, uh, you can't. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You're not allowed to use it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just kidding. Anyways, okay. yeah, thank you. Somehow seeking yeah. got really, really serious, right? And, you know, and yeah. it, it, and, and you know this from our first oh, meeting. Yeah. <laughs> you were so serious. You would not, I would not serious. even get us. <laughs> but you're laughing now. <laughs> yeah, now. But I, uh, the seriousness is still there. But now yeah. I recognize it. It's okay. You know? It's okay. What, yeah. what can I do about it anyway? You know? yeah. Yeah. So. Mm. Oh, that's hilarious. Thank you, Gunver. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. We went back full circle. Oh, yes, Leela, that was very muffled with that. Yeah, thank you. Interpretation of filter of being. I like that too, Lacey. So, I, okay, this is from um, Joe. So I died from an overdose. There was a brief cut in the census. And what proceeded was an experience that I could only describe as hell. It was everything as it was but a nightmare, seeming lack of control of the body. It was like everything was getting closer to death. So the IV in the arms was a seeing that it was a lethal injection. The MRI was an oven, etc. After what seemed like hours, eventually something came out of the body and was seeing the body. It's almost like the eyes became the room. After all that, there was a complete cut and all was dark with no colors and no sounds, just empty with no one there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you, Joe. We have to chat. We, we'll, 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 we'll Zoom one day and talk about this. I, I have another, I have a couple actually people that did an NDE and you know what, likes the way that this is expressed. That is just, it's just basically kind of like what, what you said that it's just empty because usually some of the NDE stories are a little bit more fantastical, which is also, which is also okay. You know what I'm saying? Like seeing a light or the different dimensions or everything. Um, yeah, let's, let's chat soon. That was beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, it, it's, it's the same thing, you know, like I can relate to that because it was just nothing, not even nothing, not even empty. It's beyond description. Right, so it's almost like, what is this? Anyone who wants to abide as awareness with me, okay, Lawrence. Um, there's a breakout room. I'm just joking. <laughs> Thank you, Amirali. Hi, Emerson. I'm still wrapping my head around when you said the idea I see cannot see anything. Yes. 
It's an idea. For example, if I see, I see you, that's a complete fabrication. Because there's no I that's seeing you. I hear you is the same thing. I hear you cannot hear a thing. It's a thought. <laughs> so the you is coming up with a bunch of stories, a bundle of thoughts that, you know, bring out to who you are and this, this and that, your narrative and everything. And it's just a bunch of concepts. But you, although there's no, you cannot be conceptualized. It actually happened a couple of, okay. Oh, sorry. There's Sheer here first and I'll read a question. Hi, Sheer. Hello, my friend. Hello, my friend. Hello. 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 Um, Emerson uh, thoughts or or um, concept or whatever it's I mean thought is a knowledge. Yeah, that's also I a mean, concept. Yeah, yeah. I mean, whatever I I see, I or I see when even the see is is knowledge, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's just knowledge, but. But since there's really no one behind that knowledge, it's an illusion, isn't it? I mean, when, when, I, when I, I see her, it feels, I always say, it feels that everything is, is this, is this, like it is me, but yet is not me. There you go. That's what it is. And you can't think about that. That's unthinkable, isn't it? Right? So it's 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 you and not you, but there's no you and not you that's separate. It doesn't have any yes. separation. So yes, what you're looking you know. at is you, but not you. And what's looking at is you, but not you. So really, there's no separation. Yes, you know, that's why for, for, for one week ago, I said to you, when you talk, you know, it was a talk, uh, like this meeting yeah. for two weeks ago. I, I, I don't remember. But I, I told you I went to visit my 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 son. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there was. I cannot. Uh, I cannot explain it. You know. Yeah. See? There was, was everything is me, but yet not me as me. You know. Bingo. It's just. It was just a body with a yep. body, and and there is there is something. It is not it's not a witnessing either. No, it's, no, you cannot conceptualize it, right? Because it's it's not a concept. So me yeah. or not you is a concept, but what's being seen is wholeness that cannot be conceptualized, which is which includes you and not you, which is wholeness. It's in everything. Yes, but wholeness, you know. At allness, it was like uh, it was something immediately, you know. So not uh, it was everything as 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 it was, you know. Yeah. But but I wasn't there, and yet you know I was, and I wasn't, you know. I say yeah, it, and that's make me. I just this is the I have the memory, you know. That's yeah. all. And well, this is also is... this is also the same share, right? This is also incomprehensible, but the thought that this is comprehended is just half of it. Seemingly, this is also incomprehensible and also comprehensible simultaneously. But since the the idea, you know, saying cannot be captured as a whole because it's an idea and not an idea, you can't put it together in a thought because you can only capture. <laughs> The idea. But in the, that moment, anyway, it was amazing. I can say. Yeah. Really amazing, you know. It's a. It was emptiness or something empty and full. So I cannot. Yeah. It. And I want to cry to catch it. I can't. Yeah. Um, 
it's a, it's 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 what is it's that's why you know what the simplicity of this is often missed because there's a longing for something that's supposed to be better than this but there's nothing better than this yeah there's nothing better than this this is it already and that's even just a statement you know what I'm saying that cannot capture it right it's like what you're saying it's me and it's not me everything is yeah. me but not me bingo everything is and also not is yeah that, yeah that's um and also i was think to say to you on um, 6th of october i will i i will go to to denmark to copenhagen yeah and meet uh, tim kelly's you know, oh yeah uh, yeah tim yeah met. yeah and then i then i will share with you all the way to everyone <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so, just yeah. message me. We'll talk about yeah. Tim yeah. is great. Yeah, uh, I will say to him that I did talk with you also. <laughs> <laughs> Thank All you right. very much. Thank you, Cher. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, my friend. Uh, Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Right. Marie, Maria. Oh, Maria. Hi, Maria. Hi. Hello. I haven't seen you in a while. No, I've just been like you know hanging out. <laughs> well, um, uh, apparently this character likes a little bit of airtime in these meetings, but, yeah. um, I just, I just kind of wanted to report, uh, that I feel like what I've been like the deepening of this message for me recently has actually been becoming present with what I've been avoiding through the conceptualization of this message yeah yeah so like i think for a long time i was like yeah i was i was using it as a way to still try to be some one in the future yeah. um, <laughs> and so it's kind of been the like relentless not working of that uh it's just been pounding on me in these last months and um and actually has uncovered some really deep uh like emotional trauma work weirdly yeah um but it's really cool because the way that i can now or i can now be with all that stuff is is in a much more gentle way because it's okay you know yeah. and so yeah, it's just a real relief to have let go of um, anywhere but here. <laughs> Beautifully said. Yeah, I, I I remember our 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 one on ones. It was just, it was always looking for. You know, I know it's just this, but there was always a but. There was always a a longing for the next. Is this I do like big but. Yeah. What's that? Like you like I big like but. Big but. Yeah. <laughs> and you cannot lie. No, I can't lie. Um, <laughs> But, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely, though, like, I do, it's always, there's always a but, 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 but. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, and it's kind of, I don't know, so it's, yeah, it, it does feel like there's like a, um, there's a befriending of, of all the darkness. Um, and, there's like a relentlessness to it where it just is like until until that's also seen as it it's just not going away kind of thing yeah yeah especially yeah. what we talked about there seems to be a lot of rejecting or trying to heal something or trying to you know trying to you know cast a light in th that shadow when it's just what it is already it is what it is no matter yeah. what it is, right? So there's this trying to alchemize or try to change, trying to, um, you know, transform and everything. So it's always stuck in the, the butts, the big butts. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, <laughs> I'm uh, yeah. We should do a karaoke. Oh, we should do a karaoke one day. I mean, yeah. You're in, right? You're a great singer. Yeah. You are. 
you should use everybody should listen to maria what's your spotify thing uh i'll put it in the chat okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. um yeah i would love that yeah but anyway so um just yeah just wanted to say hi and i'm happy i'm happy that um we can laugh about it now <laughs> but all of those stuff <laughs> yeah oh man it's really intense though did you, was there a kind of period in the story of you where there was this kind of like i don't know floodgates oh yeah 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 there was there was a period that there's a lot of holding in it's almost kind of like a you know there's there's already a seeing right but there was always almost like a denial of it Right, like so, I would go back to the mantras. I would go back into the practices. Maybe I need some do this, do that, all this kind of stuff. Right, so I had a lot of accoutrements, a lot of you know tools under my belt, so to speak, that I did not yeah. want to let go. I didn't want to go naked and dive into the ocean yet. You know what I'm saying? It was just this. There, there was still holding on. I was holding on to my surfboards and all that kind of stuff. Right, waiting mm. to catch that next big wave, so to speak. When I had to just yeah just go naked and completely you know um free from it whatever it is, and I think I'm still a little bit like I still have a, a float like a some floaties, some floaties uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, although but, I had no choice in it, right? You know, it was just well, it was exactly. just like yeah, and and so I I th I'm, uh, but like you no know, understanding it or this deepening has made me see as well that like it doesn't. That, like that's okay too almost like it's like yeah. I there's no way to will yourself into the nakedness yeah that's right yeah because Maybe you're already naked that you're already naked yeah exactly. you're already naked you know saying there's there's no amount of buoys and um you know um live jacket or flipper wings that can save you because you're already drowned just a big naked butt that's basically. right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is getting too sexual. You know? No, we're we're talking about sermons a, a lot, way. man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, no, Which is celebrating yeah. fifty years of hip hop. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel that. Um, amazing. Thank you. Everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. There's a lot of chat that happened. Just a second. It actually, this is a continuation from Joe. It actually happened a couple of times. One time with edibles, there was a complete cut in awareness, and there was seeing chicken and one chicken and wondering what it was. It felt very primal. It was also seeing a video game and couldn't make sense of it. So there's absolutely nothing happening. You can say that, yeah, because there's no one that is behind that happening. Seeing chicken, KFC to be precise. Oh churches <laughs> joe continue <laughs> that was kathy uh joe um goes since the all that what is this or that seemed to become extremely ordinary beyond speaking of it um now it's wow but it's so wow that it's just nothing this still says i but it's not believe it's okay if you say i because there's already no i anyway so why would it matter now i want chicken likewise <laughs> <laughs> and that there's Maria's music there. Oh, thank you, Casey. She oh, she already had his hand up earlier. <laughs> hey Casey. Hey. How's Hello. it going? Good. 
Hello. I just wanted to say you look really nice today. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. This this old thing. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I used to think this, I used to think that this was devastating. Like, apparently. But it's so not. It it could be too. It could be. It can be. be. Yeah. 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 It can be a great loss. it It can be. Amirali is nodding his head there. Yeah, it could be. It could be. It, it. One of the hardest stories that I hear is when, when someone is steeped in into religiosity, um, and that's really really difficult. Mm-hmm. And that was kind of like with with this character as well because I just kept on jumping from belief system to belief system, and when that boat has sunk and there's no nothing to hold on to, it's kind of like what Joe was saying. It's just empty. And there's nothing to cling on to anymore. And that could be devastating. And a relief at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, if you say so. (laughs) (laughs) I've heard a lot of stories recently about how it's, it's not empty at all. And it's so funny when I hear that because it's, it's like, yeah. Yeah, like absolutely. I mean, all the above. All of it's the not above. like there's little spots you see now. Like, whoa, it's actually an outline of the. You know, um, there's a big neon sign that says "empty" and it just blinks back and forth. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> For real, though, yeah. But that's how it is because whatever it is, is it, and there's nothing, nothing that could be done. You know, it's, it seems to be beautiful. Yeah. And it can be real intense. I mean, it could be even, it's almost like a catalyst. It seems like sometimes this message is. It's like, it's um, shocking and it's not shocking at the same time. It's kind of like, oh, okay. Right. It, it's a big shock sometimes. It's like, wait a second. Because it's always been this way. Meaning this, this, this that cannot be discussed, this cannot, cannot be talked about. Is in everything. It's in all of the thoughts. And all of the, it's in everything. It it cannot be rejected or denied. It, it's so simple. It's always been there, and will always will be there. Um, and it's not an it. It's not. It, yeah. It's it's, and it's uh, constantly, constantly being um misinterpreted, um because it cannot be interpreted. It's just. It's just. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's so simple. It's so elementary, right? Like it's like it's so, it's so um basic. Yeah. It can it can just go like that. One little joke, one little comment, it can be like, oh. yeah. <laughs> you know, whatever the fuck was being held onto at some point or something. I mean, there's no one actually here doing anything. Nothing actually happening. But yeah. um, yeah, it looks like everybody's it's here. Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful. And thank you're you. beautiful. Thanks, oh, man. Thank you. Thank you. All right. There's a uh, uh Maria has music here. And um and Joe also has music music if you guys want to check it out. Oh, somebody said somebody somebody asked me here privately, can you and Joe have a, a Zoom chat? Yeah, if if you're up for it, Joe, just email me. Just email me and we'll do it. We'll do a chat. Yeah. What happened to your YouTube? Yeah, there. Okay, my YouTube is okay. So getting okay now. Somehow, there was a couple of people that reported it. Um, but um, it's okay now. So it, it affected the algorithm, so to speak. But it's it's okay now. Um, Maria, how are you doing? Um, so I I also wanted to, to to ask or just to see what your thoughts were on this. Like, since like I'm still really interested in like the workings of the psyche, and that's okay. Like, What's wrong with that? Yeah, I know, and I'm kind of yeah. making it wrong, and I'm kind of asking you permission. <laughs> There's no permission needed. <laughs> it's okay for me to still coach people, but that's that's that's. Uh, I, it's I, okay. I, yeah, yeah. Yes. No, but that that was kind of the like, just the the. That that that's that doesn't 
have that actually has nothing to do with what we're talking about is yeah. basically well, yeah it's cool yeah it's cool yeah it's cool no matter what it is right it's 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 beautiful it's it, this is not an identity this is not a state it's the authenticity of what is appearing as whatever it is mm -hmm. it's it's uh it's 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 not it's not policing you saying that oh that's not non duality maria sorry that's not allowed you know um it's okay yeah. to it's okay to to be whatever it is and um there seems to be an appreciation um without any barriers without being right be, without being being an authority right this is not a this is not an authoritarian idea because everything is an idea um mm -hmm. So the idea that it's not non-duality is just another bollocks. Oh yeah. Mm, yeah. So it's yeah. It's it long. already is whatever it is. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Unless you join the inner circle, which costs you. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding, just kidding, just kidding. It's almost crazier to think how this could ever apparently be lost. Yes, thank you, Amirali. Totally. It can never be. How? How? It's impossible. Apparently, I'm a veteran in a recovery place, so I'm going down to eat dinner. I'll email you about one. Yes, uh, uh, Joe, we'll talk, we'll chat. Awesome. Looking forward to it. I'll listen to your music, too. Random question here, Emerson. What's your favorite cuisine? <laughs> I like everything, but I really like French cuisine. Yeah. Beef bourguignon, duck confit, you know, that kind of stuff. Delicious. Anything creamy? <laughs> And of course, Filipino food. Oh, hey, Ben. Hey, Emerson. Hello. How are you doing, Ben? I'm You're looking good. Well. Thanks. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. feeling pretty pretty good on the road to better health after a That's long That's good. Day. Good to hear. Yeah. yeah. Um, That's much a question, but just like a little check-in, kind of like Maria's. Yeah. Um, I don't know how similar this is, but it felt a little bit similar. So I've... You talked about either last week or the week before you were talking about like, um, I think you were referring to silence kind of being intertwined with everything that yeah. being like a, whether it's a silence or inseparable, it's, it, it's a, everything's already inherently silent. Yeah. There's so I've been feeling from around that time, uh, through now kind of it's not all the time but whenever i check in it's like the silence or the it's hard to put into words but 
like it's it's in everything it's like everywhere i look there's this oh man there's this like either i don't know, silence that's got presence almost or like an energetic energy but yeah 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 um, so, so that's been going on a lot as well as uh the the kind of uh um similarity in my mind to maria is that all sorts of like raw emotions have been coming up oh stuff that yeah. i used to i guess bury but i mean stuff from like early childhood and and uh and all sorts of jealousies and resentments and angers and fears yeah. and just bubbling up and i think i just was keeping them down a lot before you know or just yeah these mechanisms but so that's happening kind of together and i'm not i'm not resisting it it's very surprising it doesn't feel great but it's it just it's, feels like nothing i can do about it it's just yeah. it's just happening i don't like it a lot of the time but yeah uh, even the not liking it i kind of see as part of it yeah but so then that's basically oh, being peace right. with what is no matter what it is right so it could be nasty you know what i'm saying it could be like really painful appearances of what seems to be rejected i did that took for, for quite a, a long time right i i basically um stuffed down what i could not take like you know if it was if it was it resisted it resisted it but go ahead sorry sorry um yeah no no that, that that's good to hear um I guess, but but there's still a real. It feels like there's still a pretty strong sense of a me here, and that's what so is I, I too. Guess, See, yeah. So it's it, it without that thought of there's still a strong of a me. It's already the case, right? It's not. It's not really a barrier. It's basically seeing through that. That that's also it. Yeah, I'm getting yeah. hung up a little bit in the you know hearing like either you just said. Or you or somebody just said, like, I think you were saying in, in a, a recap of something personal just a little while ago in this conversation, you were saying, yeah, there was a seeing of it, but you were fighting it somehow. Yeah. I don't feel like there's any seeing, like, I don't feel any insights or any seeing. It's just like, it's just those kind of two things I described, this kind of onslaught of, of emotions, like that were previously just most of the time stuffed. And me just having, you know, not much I could do about it, uh, being uncomfortable at times with it, but yeah, well, I could do. And then also the silence kind of, or the, or the, you know what, I'd also substitute either, you know, for the silence or uh, get, add synonyms. Like it feels like isness, beingness, aliveness. That's yeah. kind of like everywhere I look. Yeah. But it just, there's no, there's no like calm or peace or joy or love. Yeah. Or anything. Well, the the thief of clarity is comparing words of others. <laughs> That's already clear. That's already what is right. But when there's a comparison, well, I'm not having what Emerson's having. Then that's just a thief of that. It's pretty. <laughs> Don't believe everything that you hear because they're just words. You know, what I'm saying they're just they're also illusions. Right, so comparing an illusion to another illusion is like comparing nothing to nothing. Yeah, it already is the case, and it's like you know. And I used to think that, right? Like at one point, I'm like, at one point, it was so silly, right? I'll be like, um, I'm going to prepare to become like Ramana, but I don't feel like Ramana. Like I would, I would put on some, you know, some diaper and you know, loincloth and look in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> to feel holy, right? <laughs> to feel right. holy, right? All I, all I could think of, I'm like, I need to develop my six pack, you know? I'm like, well, I guess it's okay if you don't have a six pack because you're Ramana now and everything. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter yeah. what it is because what it is is just, again, the what when, when I say that, you know, when when the the words, for example, show up that um, I see this. That's just a thought. Well, that's yeah. What you're comparing what, thoughts from thoughts. Yeah, I'm. I'm kind of wondering, honestly, wondering like how much is thinking versus just raw, uh, 
intimacy, you know, like, yeah. Well, if he also sees thinking as raw intimacy, you know what I'm saying? Meaning that you see that it's point, it's, it's basically when it's seen as rawness, meaning that it's, it's just, it's just an appearance. That's also intimacy, right? When it's seen that the words are just basically like labels, they're like, um, they're like these clear tape labels that you put on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It will still be empty. Right. Yeah. You get getting yeah. caught up in a fine print, but there's not even a fine print. <laughs> I like your metaphors today. They're spot on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Emerson. <laughs> Thank you. Joy and fear are all impermanent states that appear in nothing for no one like a flux. Yeah. Isn't it beautiful though? Maria. Hello, Maria. Hi. Um, just on on uh uh what Amarali was saying. Yeah. It still feels like there's like a a natural inclination towards doing things that feel good. Like, what? like, so I've been, I've been living with like a chronic health condition for a really long time. And yeah. the more this message deepens, the more I'm finding myself actually like taking better care of myself. Yeah. Uh, and so that, it's kind of this weird thing where it's like the less attached attachment there is to feeling a certain way, the more I'm open to like experimenting with new treatments or. Yeah. And forget also about, for, forget about the message. There's no message. It's just what is right. So that seems to be the stuckness in a lot of, you know, that there is a message. There's no message. There's no author. It's just what is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, isn't that free? Isn't that just complete openness? It's just what is. Whatever seems to appear is what it is. If there's a rejection, that's okay. also what it is. Yeah. So if there's a longing to feel better, that's what is. Who would not want that? Yeah. This is not in the approved, you know, according to the communication. No, there's no communication. Right. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Because that would be an, a, an authority, right? If there's a message, if there's a communication, there is something to follow. Which is kind of still what I want. <laughs> no. Yeah. So this I is. I mean, I don't, this, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's easy to get, get caught up in that as well, right? Because, you know, that there is an anchor again, you know, for a sail to ship completely freely and travel. You know, cut the anchor. So scary. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're just going to sail in circles. You're still anchored within the confines of whatever it is that you think. Yes. It's yes. anchoring you. Yeah. Um. Okay. I, yeah. And and just on the on the topic of health. Yeah. Um. I've I've like I've been learning a lot recently about like the inflamed brain and like the kind of different responses that the body goes into um and how really shitty thoughts and depression and all that stuff can yeah you're cutting you're cutting out a little bit there and Am I? Oh, yeah. Really? So you said oh, your uh, your brain, how shitty the thoughts are. That's when it cut cut out. That's better. Oh, now. okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, just that, like, I don't know. I've gone blank. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but something about something about something about um physical illness and 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 how um like. It's, it feels very hard sometimes to not believe the thoughts because they're so urgent. Which is a thought in itself, isn't it? Yes. 
Yeah. Yes. Ah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank okay. Thank you so much. Um, I would stay longer, be- but I have my puppy that's just been scratching my door for a long time. I'll I'll come back for a break. I just have to let her out. Um, but if you have any last questions, she can probably wait for another five minutes. Go ahead, or I will um put a put this into a breakout room situation. Well, thank you so much, everyone. Thank, thank you, you thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Love you. Mwah. Much Bye. love. My puppy is Kisses. a cocker spaniel. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank Her you. name is Ella Bella. Bye. Bye. Enjoy your dog Bye. time. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.